Hey everybody and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 how-to video. Today we're going to talk about landscaping and painting. But before that, this video is brought to you by Bell Kira. Thank you for being a farm baron. So a feature that was introduced in Farm Sim 19, which was the ability to kind of landscape the terrain, raise it, lower it, paint the different various ground textures on the land, kind of suit your need has been refined or revisited in farm sim 22 and that's what we're going to take a look at here today but there are a few things that you want to make sure you do before you start your terraforming adventure in farm sim and that is to turn off autosave so we're going to come in here to the escape menu we're going to go to game settings. We're going to change the autosave interval from the default 15 minutes to off. That way we will not have to worry about autosave kicking in at a very unopportune moment because there is no undo when you're doing landscaping. Just like there's no undo when you place a building, there's no undo when you landscape. So you want to be very careful, slow, and methodical with what you are doing and if something doesn't work out right just quit the game boot it back up because you're hopefully saving very frequently and then you'll be able to kind of rework what you messed up so if we go shift p we're going to get to all this in the build mode under landscaping we have four brushes we have raise and lower level soften and slope we're going to walk through each and every one of these but before we do that we need to talk about how do we navigate this particular mode left and right arrow will move your camera left and right up and down will move your camera up and down with respect to your position center click on the wheel rotate left and right will rotate the camera and up and down will change the angle. Scrolling on the wheel will allow you to zoom in and zoom out. So once we have up and down, left and right, scroll wheel, center click left and right, and center click up and down. Okay, so now that we have kind of the basics of really moving the camera around. We also then have the ability to change our brush shape with V. You can see right now it is a circle. We can make it a square. We can increase or decrease the brush size with M to go bigger, N to go smaller. And K and L is a new addition to version 1.2 is the ability to change brush strength. L will increase it. K will decrease it. I like to work with a softer brush, meaning the brush strength is lower. Because if you have it on a high brush strength, things happen very, very fast and it can quickly get out of control. So let's just compare. Let's go to the weakest brush strength. Let's make this a little bit bigger. We're going to left click and we're going to raise the ground here at the cursor. I'm going to left click for about Two seconds. One, two. Okay, so there we go. Now over here, I want to make this the stronger brush strength. And again, we're going to left click for about two seconds. One, two. All right, so you can see we've got a very completely different result here. Let's go back and let's lower our brush strength. Okay. And we're going to right click to lower. One, two. We got a little bit of a, a divot here. And we'll come back here and we'll try to lower this down.
and you can see trying to get trying to get flat ground with raise and lower is like a a, a futile experiment a futile you don't want to try it but what you can do is you know you can raise it here lower it here Get a nice little mound action going on. Maybe do a little divot. Maybe at some point there will be such a thing as a placeable water plane. You could place it here and have a little bit of a pond maybe underneath of it. You know, your imagination is literally limitless. But that is the basic principle of raise and lower. Level, which in my opinion is the miracle feature. Level will allow you to, dare I say, level the land to a fixed point. The way this works is you will decide where do you want the level of your land to be. We're going to click on that, and then we're going to move our brush across the land, and you're going to see all of this basically go to that fixed point. So I'm going to change this to the square. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And I want to make this the starting height. So I'm going to left click. And now this is my starting point. I'm going to move the cursor. And it's going to bring all of the land to that level. Which means it's going to increase or decrease as it needs to in order to get the land to this point. So we're filling in holes. We're knocking down terrain. And in the end, what we get is a nice level square piece of land. Can't get much leveler than this. In build mode, under landscaping, level. Again, we also have the ability to change our brush size and shape and strength. Strength will just govern how fast the land under the brush changes to the set height. But the key with level is to pick where you want to start your leveling, left click, hold that down and then move the cursor around to bring everything to that particular point. Soften. Soften is going to let you, I want to use the word smooth. That's how it was in FS 19. Soften was basically smooth, but I want to use smooth as an example. I'm going to make some pretty rough things here. Okay, and then I'm going to go and Bring this up. To a level point. So now we have some. Pretty rough ground. Pretty sharp edges. And really it just looks. Utterly, utterly awful. Right? Pretty bad. Pretty bad. I'm terrible. What we're going to do is we're going to go into build mode. Landscaping. Soften. And. Again we have the strength. L to make it stronger, K to make it weaker. And I want to just soften or smooth the transition between this point and this point. So I'm going to left click and you'll see that it is going to kind of knock down all these rough edges. And in essence, smooth this whole area out a bit. So what we end up with is 
hopefully a more desirable outcome. Change the shape. Make it react very, very fast. Or we can make it react slower. Just like that. Whatever fits your boat. And now we have a bit smoother or softer transition from various elevations. Now the last one we're going to look at is a new tool which is slope. Build mode, slope. And the way slope works is pretty simple. We need to set a starting point and then an end point. But we set our end point first. So we want to set our ultimate height. So let's say we want our slope to be this high. So we want to set our target point. We want to put our cursor there and right click once to set the target point. And then we're going to come over here to, let's say our starting point right here. And we're going to left click and we're going to just drag over to our end destination. And it is now going to basically do the wonderful math and figure out how much it has to increase the land in order to get to that point. Now, it doesn't like that I'm standing here. You can't be standing real close to where you want to do your landscaping. So again, we're going to set our target height. And then we're going to left click and build our slope up to that particular point. And now what we have is a nice even slope from one level up to the next. Now we have to decide that is just absolutely horrible. We can come back to the best tool that was ever made in the level. We can go back to a point that we want everything to be flat to and then just completely smash it and stomp it back down in the ground and everything that we've just done is completely now erased just like that now let's talk about painting so just like leveling and landscaping and sculpting if you will we can paint we have different size brushes. And we have different shapes of brushes. So I'm going to go square. We have animal mud. Just some left click. We have asphalt. We have dirt. This is what we have here. We have forest ground, grass, gravel, and those are the default ground textures for Elm Creek. Now, if you load up Halt Bay of the Rune or Erlengrot, you're going to see that we may have different ground textures on each of those particular starting maps. So here we have animal mud, get some nice footprints, muddy, wet ground, a little bit of straw or other plant matter in there. Asphalt, which for me looks more like a white concrete. We have our plain dirt with a little bit of kind of green in there. Our forest floor. So we have kind of dirt with leaf matter down there. We have our base grass texture. 
we have our gravel and then that's what we have now what's interesting with FS 22 is we can kind of layer our various painted textures with our foliage our our plants if you will so we can put down different grasses again we have different shaped brushes circle big right and when we put down this grass you'll see it is not changing the underlying painted texture that we put down so we have meadow grass these little conifer flowers daylilies so when it comes time to kind of making your own little creation you can really get some unique looks by layering the ground texture and then the foliage the plants on top of that we have several different types of bushes that we can put down here to really entice you with all kinds of looks. So let's take a closer look. So we have our animal mud with our grass, our conifers, our daylilies. We can have some grass coming up through our concrete, our asphalt have grass growing kind of in the dirt we can have grass growing in our forest floor we can have grass growing in grass and we can have grass coming up through our gravel and then like I said we have various shrubbery that we could put down now the gra the shrubbery does not grow it is permanently this size of this shape but you can really kind of Find something you like, find a look you like, find a size you like, mix and match as you should so wish. We also have the ability to place trees, and there are a lot of trees. As you can see, we're not going to place every single tree because, well, quite frankly, there are a ton of trees. And you're going to find on each of the three base maps, the trees can be different. So to place a tree, you're just going to pick the tree you want. And you have the ability to right-click and rotate the tree, which is a good idea to do so you don't have all the trees all in the exact same orientation. And then when you decide you like where you have it, you can just click on it. V will also allow you to randomly rotate the tree. So you get a little bit of variety there. So we have the young American elm. We have a small American elm. Medium, much larger. Then we have small downy service berry to a larger. We have a small dogwood up to a large dogwood. And you can rotate these. We have the hickory, small hickory. All the way up to a large hickory tree. Birch sapling. All the way up to a large birch. Small oak. Transitioned up to a large oak. Have a large willow and then we can put in a old pine various sizes of pines so you can see you can really really get imaginative with building out your own farm kind of creating a, a area all of your own 
different trees, different tree rotations, different tree sizes. Now these trees will not grow. These trees are permanently this size. This is completely different than planting saplings of these types of trees. We've already done a video on planting trees and tree growth. Placed trees like these will not grow. Planted trees do grow. Right there you go. Now it's important to know when you're placing trees, there is, once again, no undo. Once you put a tree down, it is there until, well, you cut it. You can't come in and delete a tree. Once you have placed it, you're gonna have to come in here and cut it, remove the stump and get rid of the tree. So be very careful when you are placing these trees, that you want to place them where they belong because some of these trees are not exactly the easiest to get rid of. So guys, hope that was kind of helpful for you all to understand maybe how to use the basics of the various landscaping features, the painting of the ground, painting of the plants, the shrubbery, and of course the placement of the various trees that are available in Farm Sim 22 to really let you create a farm of your own, a world of your own. Let me know in the comments, what did you think of the placement and landscaping capabilities of Farm Sim 22? And if you have any other ideas for a how-to video, let me know down in the comments below. So until next time, happy farming.